Human genome editing, that is making precise changes in human DNA that can be passed down to offspring, is a line the scientists for decades had not crossed until November 2018. He Jiankui, a Chinese researcher who trained in the U.S., announced that twin girls whose genomes were edited to be immunized against AIDS were born in China. It caused an uproar around the world. His experiment was not the only dangerous biological experiment conducted in China. What are the other ones? Hi everyone, welcome to Lei's Real Talk, I'm Lei. The evening when He Jiankui announced his experiment at a conference in Hong Kong, more than 100 Chinese scientists issued a joint statement stating that human genome editing technology has existed for a long time, but scientists have not used it because changing human DNA will bring unpredictable consequences and carries critical ethical issues. Krishanu Saha, a biological engineer at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, said that Hearst's reckless experiment deployed a technology with the potential to affect deeply held beliefs about human life all around the planet. Whether it is ever acceptable to genetically engineer future children is a question for humanity, not for science. Saha's comment brought up some important questions. As science advances so quickly, what's its relation to humans? What's the purpose of science? Is it to promote scientific development in and of itself, or is it for serving humanity? In a communist society, however, it is neither. It's solely to serve the regime and enable it to gain power. In the 1920s and 30s, the communist regime in the then Soviet Union secretly conducted the Ape Warrior Experiment. The leader of the Soviet Communist Party, Joseph Stalin, personally ordered scientists to experiment with the creation of a man-ape hybrid. The goal was to build an invincible army of orangutan warriors. These warriors would be physically strong, mentally slow, and insensitive to pain. They could be used as war machines. The person in charge of this project was Elia Ivanovich Ivanov, renowned in the field of artificial insemination. He became famous for improving Imperial Russia's horses, using sperm from the best stallions to impregnate mares. Secret files later confirmed that the Soviet Union wanted to develop orangutan warriors not just for warfares, but also for cheap labor, such as working in coal mines. They would also be a source for organ transplantation. But in the end, Ivanov was arrested for being involved in political controversy, and thank goodness his experiment stopped. The Chinese Communist Party has also been playing with dangerous experiments. Don't we know that Shi Zhengli, the bat lady from the infamous Wuhan Institute of Virology, conducted a gain-of-function study to allow a SARS-CoV-like bat coronavirus to infect humans? Many scientists worldwide have questioned the ethical basis of the experiment and brought up the possibility that it violates the Nuremberg Code. Since 2011, the CCP has made creating primate disease models through cloning and other biotechnologies a national goal. In recent years, the regime has carried out a series of world-first experiments in biomedicine and genetic engineering. These experiments completely disregard human moral boundaries. On April 15th this year, a research team from Kunming Science and Technology University published a paper on the Cell website, announcing that the world's first human monkey chimeric embryo was successfully cultivated. This means that the embryos were derived from mixed sources, from both human cells and monkey cells. Scientists injected human stem cells into monkey embryos, hoping that the organs that grow in the monkeys could be transplanted into humans. This triggered widespread ethical controversy. Professor Julian Savulescu, director of the Oxford Uhiro Center for Practical Ethics, believes that this research opens Pandora's box for human-non-human -human chimeras. Commenting on the study, Dr. Anna Smatchdor, a professor at the University of Oslo in Norway, 
said in her article, Sorry mate, you are a monkey, that it constitutes major ethical and legal challenges because whether these embryos are human or monkey remains a big question. What troubles me is that these experiments weren't carried out by Chinese scientists alone. Bat Lady Shi Zhengli's experiment was in collaboration with various scientists from the University of North Carolina, Harvard Medical School, American Food and Drug Administration, and Arizona Institute of Microbiology in Zurich. This controversial human-monkey embryo experiment was done in collaboration with the Salk Institute for Biological Research in San Diego, California. Two years ago, in August 2019, the British paper Daily Mail reported that a Spanish research team had already experimented with human-monkey embryos in China. The report said that the world's first human-monkey hybrid was made in China to avoid legal issues. In European and American countries, due to stricter ethical laws and regulations on animal experiments, it's difficult to carry out this type of controversial experimentation. China thus has become the best place for some overly eager scientists. According to data in the journal Nature, the number of macaque breeding companies used for biomedical research in China increased from 10 to 34 between 2004 and 2013. Right now, there is a shortage of lab monkeys in China. However, some of the experiments are extremely cool. On June 9th, researchers from the Chinese Naval Military Medical University published a paper on the website. BioRxiv. The paper announced that male mice give birth to pups by C-section. The paper describes a four-step method that requires three female mice to get one male mouse to give birth. First, one male and one female rat are surgically connected to create a conjoined body. So the male rat is provided a female microenvironment through blood circulation. Then the uterus of the second female mouse is transplanted into the conjoined male mouse. Next, the embryos developed in the third female mouse is implanted into the male mouse uterus and also into the female mouse conjoined with the male. Out of 280 embryos transferred into male mice, only 27 developed normally and 10 developed into pups and were born by C-section. A total of at least 46 male mice and 138 female mice were used in this experiment. The Chief Scientific Policy Advisor at People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, Emily McIver, described the matter as a Frankenstein study and a vile experiment that's of no use. Mainland China's state control media called this experiment the first in the world, a miracle. And one media article was even titled, Are the days when men have babies still far away? Some Chinese believe that the experiment was motivated by the CCP's desire for increasing population in China. Watch my video on how China's one-child policy has killed the country's birth rate and labor force. All scientists should think about the purpose of their scientific research. Is it to serve humanity or is it to serve their curiosity, fame and personal achievement, or desire for money? When science advances without moral boundaries, it will become a self-destructive weapon for mankind. And any scientist should think very, very hard, especially before collaborating with the communist regime. Because if you choose the wrong path and make the wrong decision, your achievement could be what will one day destroy you. Thank you for watching. Please like and share my video, and I'll see you next time.